let's talk about non-disjunction. What is non-disjunction? Well, non-disjunction is the failure of homologous chromosomes to separate during meiosis one or sister chromatids to separate during meiosis two. And this will result in gametes with the incorrect number of chromosomes. So let's actually draw it out. Let's start with the failure of homologous chromosomes to separate during meiosis one. So if we suppose homologous chromosomes don't separate, and this is what our cell looks like in prophase one, in metaphase one, our homologous chromosomes will line up along the metaphase plate. So suppose they line up like this. When the cell splits into two different cells, then let's suppose that this pair of homologous chromosomes does not slip, split apart. It doesn't separate like it's supposed to. In that case, we might expect the big red chromosome to go to the cell on the left when it would have been in the cell on the right. The resulting cells would look like this, and they would line up along the metaphase plate during metaphase two. As a result, we would expect the gametes to have the incorrect number of chromosomes. So notice how the two gametes on the left have an extra number of chromosomes, whereas the two gametes on the right are missing chromosomes. Therefore, none of those gametes have the correct or normal number of chromosomes. This tells us that if non-disjunction occurs when homologous chromosomes don't separate in meiosis one, then no gametes have the correct number of chromosomes. Let's now take a look at what would happen if sister chromatids failed to separate normally during meiosis two. So again, we would have our prophase cell and it would go into metaphase one Suppose the chromosomes aligned in the same way along the metaphase plate. The cell would split into two, and suppose homologous chromosomes split apart normally. So both cells have the correct number of chromosomes. But this time, when they align along the metaphase plate, one of the cells has a sister chromatid that does not split apart. So sister chromatids of this chromosome are not going to split apart. This would result in two gametes on the left, which should have the correct number of chromosomes, but on the right, incorrect number of chromosomes. So let's draw this out. Notice how the two gametes on the left are normal, but on the right, one gamete is missing chromosomes and one has extra chromosomes. This tells us that if sister chromatids don't separate, then two gametes are gonna have the normal number of chromosomes and two are gonna have the incorrect number of chromosomes. These are two examples of non-disjunction.